Hello, this is going to be the first video of five videos I'm gonna be posting this week about concealers. This video was very much inspired by Michelle Wang, who, if you are not already subscribed to her, I will link her channel below, but she does some really great um, reviews. Uh, she talks about a lot of really gorgeous high-end makeup, and I'm talking like luxury makeup, not just Sephora brand, but also um, you know department store brand makeup. So if you do like nice things like that, you will love her channel. But she did a review series called Concealer Week, and basically she did a concealer review once a day for the week and I have accumulated quite a few concealers in the last probably six to eight weeks so I wanted to do something similar. I asked you guys I think in my favorites video or something if you'd be interested in that and a lot of you said you would be so I'm not gonna probably call this concealer week but I am going to be doing a review of a concealer every day this week. As you guys know, I like to call my reviews the buy or beware. So today's buy or beware is going to be about the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. So this concealer was launched not too long ago. I feel like it was probably the beginning of 2019. As you guys know, Fenty Beauty is Rihanna's beauty brand that is launched in Sephora. I think they're going on their second year this summer and they have just come out with really great products. Not just those like gimmicky products that you, you buy once and you never want to buy again, but really great staples that people would repurchase time and time again. So they recently just came out with a concealer to match their foundation. I've only tried a sample of their foundation. I do have very combination skin, so a bit of an oily T-zone, kind of normal and dry everywhere else. So I just found that that foundation uh, was okay in the T-zone, like it actually held the oil back pretty well, but on the normal and drier areas of my skin, I felt like it was just too matte for me. But nonetheless, I have their concealer to try. They came out with 50 shades of this concealer, which I think is great. Even when I was swatching the shades in the store, there were almost too many shades to choose from, even within my like general skin tone range. I ended up going with 310. 310 is described as a medium to tan with yellow undertone, which is basically my skin in a nutshell. I'm around an NC35 in MAC. This concealer claims to be creamy, long wearing, a medium to full coverage, and also great for under the eyes and blemishes. This product also retails for $32 and you get eight milliliters of product. So this is the packaging for the concealer. It's not quite a cylindrical tube. It actually has two flat edges on the side. It's very reminiscent of the Pro Filter base eye primer. Um, it's actually the, basically the same shape and size, it's just different coloring. The doe foot applicator for this concealer is also nice. Picks up, you know, just the right amount of product and it has almost like a tapered uh, shape to it. So it has, you know, two flat sides on either side, which applies product beautifully. Before we go into the application and the wear of this product, I did wanna show you guys this shade in comparison to some of the other concealers that I have because it's funny when I was swatching them all out getting ready for concealer week I noticed that I don't really have any two of the same shade and concealer every band just has their own take on what a medium with yellow undertone skin <laughs> looks like. So some of these are very yellow, some of them are very warm, some of them are more neutral, but I always kind of try to go middle of the road, medium, medium to deep, with yellow undertones, sometimes olive. So for shade comparisons, these are some swatches. Fenty Concealer in 310, Too Faced Born This Way in Warm Beige, Makeup Forever Ultra HD in number 34, Smashbox Studio Skin in Warm Beige Olive, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer in number seven, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Ginger, Glossier Stretch Concealer in Dark, or I think it's G6. This one is the Stretch Concealer in G7, and then the last one is the Clay to Poe Concealer in Almond. 
So for continuity purposes, I have decided to use the same base and powder and primer and all of that stuff with these concealers. So some of the accoutrements like blush or bronzer or lip color or eyeshadow might be different throughout the wear tests because I have been trying these products out for as much time as I can. Um, but in terms of the base, it will always be the same. So I'm using the Dior Face and Body in 3WO. And I'm also using this finishing powder, which is the Hourglass Dim Light. So let's get into the demo and wear test. The application of this concealer was very easy. I really do like the applicator itself. I find that the shape and just the quality of the doe foot picks up quite a bit of product. I always like to be very sparing with my concealer application. I don't like to do the huge triangles under the eyes, so I apply a little bit, especially just kind of where the darkness is, blend it out, and then if I need to, I typically will add a second layer after that. So I'm using the Real Techniques little mini sponge to blend everything out. So this is how the skin looks with one layer. As you can see, it's definitely brightened the under eyes. It feels pretty nice under, it also feels pretty nice. It looks and feels pretty much like skin. It's a little bit tacky, but it also hasn't dried down completely yet. I'm gonna apply a second layer of the concealer under the eyes and then also spot treat a little bit on where I have any blemishes. I think this will be great for blemishes because even though it is a very creamy formulation, it does dry down to be a satin matte finish, which I think is perfect for blemishes that you have on your skin. So this is how the skin looks after two layers of concealer under the eyes and also some spot concealing. It looks pretty seamless against the skin. It doesn't look too cakey or heavy and it feels very lightweight. After about 11 hours of wear, this is how the concealer looks. I have fine lines under my eyes as you can see and I don't feel like the concealer has has accentuated the fine lines, although it does crease a little bit in the fine lines, which I'm usually okay with. I usually just buff it out with a finger or with a brush. This just helps all of the product to kind of redistribute under the eyes. I don't feel like the concealer bunched up in any areas. I don't feel like it moved. The coverage also stayed pretty decent throughout the day. I do see some fading kind of where the inner corner is and where you can see a bit of my darkness, but overall I felt like it wore pretty well throughout the day. It is time for my final thoughts. In case you are wondering, also on a side note, why I look different. I tried to do the same lip color and sweater that I was wearing in the beginning portion, but this half is actually filmed three days later than the first half. That is because I accidentally turned off my microphone for whatever reason and I wasn't recording audio. So uh, hopefully this time goes a little bit better. Anyway, my final thoughts on the Fenty Beauty concealer. Um, the overall wear of it, I really enjoyed. Like I mentioned, I wore this concealer many times and it kind of wore a little bit differently each time. I think it's just because I was playing around a little bit with whether I wore a primer or I didn't wear a primer or a powder or I didn't powder and maybe the type of skincare that I did underneath it. But I have combination skin and I did feel like it wore pretty well throughout the day. I found that when I wore this on one particular day where my skin was very dehydrated, uh, especially under the eyes, I felt like it didn't sit on my skin very well at all. And that's not because my skin was dry, but it was dehydrated. So I felt like it just sat on top and it also accentuated the fine lines I have under my eyes. On the days where my skin was well moisturized and my skin was a little bit hyd more hydrated, I felt like this wore very beautifully. This probably isn't a concealer that I will gravitate towards in the winter time when my skin tends to be a little bit drier or dehydrated. This is a concealer that I definitely want to pull out more regularly in the summertime. I feel like the longevity of this will work perfectly in the summertime for me. So the pros are definitely, you know, overall it's pretty long wearing. I love the color range of this. There is definitely a color that will probably suit you whether you are very fair or very deep or in the middle like me. 
I do find it to be a very nice medium to a buildable full coverage if you do more than one layer. I only like to apply a little bit of concealer under the eyes and really build it up because I just find that too much concealer under the eyes for me tends to cake a little bit easier. I also like how you can powder this or not powder it and you get pretty much the same wear and the same finish. It does not have a glossy finish, it's definitely more satin to matte finish. The only con I have about this is again, when my skin was a little bit more dehydrated, I found this to be not as flattering on the skin. I don't know whether it's just because it doesn't work so well for drier skin or if it's just because when my skin gets really dehydrated, it does tend to flake a little bit and things just don't necessarily sit very nicely. So that's really a personal con for me and just how my skin tends to react to makeup when it's dehydrated hydrated. So overall, this is a buy for me. I enjoyed the wear of it, the longevity. It felt pretty nice on the skin. It's definitely one that I would wear again, if not seasonally, and I do not regret buying it. If you have tried this concealer, you will have to let me know what your thoughts below are, pros and cons, and also maybe what your skin type is like to help anyone else trying to figure out whether this concealer is good for them or not. And I guess I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for my next concealer review. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.